Welcome back to another More Some More Moment. We are in the building and today we thought we'd talk about something different to what we tend to, well it's not different, it's the same topic, but we're going to come at it from a different approach today. because we're a new series, um, essentially. Yeah, it's a new series. But today we want to talk about someone who we admire when it comes to Spretatora suits, mm-hmm. dressing well. Killing it. Respect. Respect. That's yeah. all it is. That's all it is. It's a little bit of a salute yeah, to say, yeah, well done, sir. Well done. Salute with the wrong hand. Well done, sir. This is meant to be like that as well. We would like to salute, bang, Mr. David Gandhi. Why are we going to do it? Why David Gandhi, though? Why, would, why do we salute David Gandhi? Do you, you tell me. Almost every time this guy gets it right. I know you just said. Um, I know you said almost. Sorry to interrupt, but you said almost. Gets we're gonna right. get to. We're gonna okay, get to cool. almost. Before today, before I actually did the research, <laughs> I would have said always. Then I saw a picture. I saw a certain style from 2012. Okay, well, then, you said we'll get to that bit. Okay, okay I'm so, not gonna. So, yeah, so why is yeah, he killing okay, it? Yeah. Let's talk about why he's killing it. Why is he killing um, it? He is a king of three piece. Yeah. Um, when he rocks a three piece suit. Yeah. It's just on point. Three piece killer. Yeah, he's a three piece killer. That's what he does. He does that. I mean, let me not say killer too much because that's a bit. But anyway, yeah, he does really murder them. <laughs> <laughs> in a good way. He's just quintessentially British with his wares. Um, you know, a lot of people, including us, are really inspired by the Italian style. Um, however, when he wears his clothes, no matter what you're looking at, whether it be the you know pleated trousers, wearing a fedora, he still looks British doing it. And spending time in Italy, one thing I've noticed with a lot of the Italian men old, young, all throughout is that their style looks very effortless. So it just looks like they're just throwing it together, but it's so stylish. It's just like, wow, like, how have you done that? Whereas with that British style, one thing I've noticed is that it looks like it's very well put together, like very considered and well mm-hmm. thought out. That makes any sense. And it just looks really sharp. But even when David Gandhi doesn't wear a tie and he's got open collar, it just still looks so precise as to yeah. how he's done it and well thought out. But, um, but I love it. Yeah, I love it. Definitely. Yeah. What he also does is, which ties in with the previous two points, is his waistcoats. He loves a double-breasted waistcoat. Uh, um, and it is, again, quintessentially British in the style of it. So it's yeah. uh, double-breasted with lapels. He doesn't do the scoop neck look. And then it also cuts off right above his trouser line and it just sits well. And even when he mix and matches it with separate, so you know he may have a, a white waistcoat with a gray suit, it still works. The biggest thing for me when it comes to suit, and the reason why I really rate him is because he understands body type, dressing for your body type. Definitely. And the fit is all pretty much, all the pictures I've seen anyway, mm. the fit's on point. The fit's on point because he's, he's got a muscular build, he doesn't follow the trend of wearing slim fit, skinny fit, really tapered trousers. Or he short has, trousers. Or even like his short. trousers actually always have a break, at yeah. least one break. They touch his shoe, right? Yeah. His trousers touch his shoe, but they're always relaxed fit because he's got big muscular fire. So he has a nice relaxed fit trouser. It looks good. He's muscular at the top, so it balances his body out. Tapered jacket, relaxed fit trousers. He knows how to dress for his body type smashed it and one other thing that I have to say that I saw that he loved that I loved that I saw he did is he's the only person I've seen rock a free a double breasted jacket as a free piece so he had a waistcoat underneath the amount of times I tell people don't do that it, it doesn't work you know I there's, told there's no point to be honest I, I love the look okay so let's go back to this almost because as far as I'm concerned always kills it always on point Always there, he's always there with it. He's always there with it. Always before. So now I want to hear this. I want to hear this almost. So almost means there was one outfit. Just, just where David Gandhi attended London Collection Men's in 2012. Um, he was wearing a pinstripe suit. Um, top half was standardly yeah. David Gandhi. Okay, cool. great fit. Cool. Sounds waistcoat. Nice sharp jacket. About the sound of that. And then a pair of bell bottoms. Yeah, bell bottoms. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm just not sure. We love you, Gandhi, but <laughs> we do, like, we do, please. but hey. What can you take away from David Gandhi's sense of style and incorporate into your own? Three-piece suit, 
and dressing for your body size. He knows what works for him. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Like, share, comment and subscribe on our video. Follow us on our various social media channels, mostly uh -huh. LinkedIn as well as Instagram. And Twitter. And, and Twitter. Read the blog though, like, you've got to tell him to read the blog because the blog's important. The blog. There's, there's so much pertinent and useful information on the blog. There read is. It. Send us in any of your questions, whether it be in the comment below. Email ask at mortsandmore.com. We're available, you can get where it is. It's not that hard. Yeah. It's not that difficult. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah. Until next time, guys. Do you want to do the outro? You can do it. It's alright. <laughs> Yeah, that was the message at church yesterday. Oh, was it? You can do it. You can do it. That is the message. Um, yeah, but yeah, that was his almost his spot his perfect record. He's no longer Mayweather. He's no longer the greatest. Yeah, Literally. but then the bell bottoms. Bell bottoms. Like they're 70s. literally, a 70s, literally actually. 30 inches. Yeah, 70 around the ankle. Yeah, um, yeah. Some people don't have 30 inch waist. No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs>